Welcome back to Assemblance Oversight. Let's explore the rest of the office and then the other locations and see if we can detect any differences now that we can flip through all of the colors. Just discovered something in the office. This. Is it going to stay like this? Yeah, like when I switch it shows a pattern for a second and then it switches to this. Well, that's a lot of numbers to try, but I'm absolutely willing to try all of them. They're all six digits. First one says, the first column says date. The second one doesn't say anything, which is weird. Maybe they're just more dates. But what is being displayed before that? Every time I switch, what is that? Least significant digit one, two, three. It's showing some sort of like binary code or something at the bottom, bottom left. Could be important. And this is obviously important. Okay, I took screen caps of both of the screens. Both the one that is displayed normally and the one that kind of glitches in for a second. Now this one's obvious enough. There's nothing really to interpret there, I think. Just type them all in, I think. Um, but this one, I this might be nothing. It might be nothing, but I suspect it is something. Because, you know, this is a semblance. <laughs> You've seen what this game is like. I had to do an ARG. So this is probably a thing, and I don't understand how to interpret it. So this would appear to be bits, right? Zero, 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 one, 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 one. But then things get weird. And then we get into groups of two bits instead of just one. So, and also with each bit or group of bits, there's a number associated with them from one to 10. But yeah, I don't understand the relationship between these bits, why it changes into groups of two bits for the last three, and how they're related to the numbers above them. If I just mash this whole line into a stream of bits, then each of these would be 13 bits long. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yep, 13. Which would mean the number would be 2 to the 13th power of possible combinations, that'd be the biggest number you can get, which is 8,192. So that would give us, if we just interpreted it as just a string of bits, this is the biggest number that it could indicate, which wouldn't be enough to have a six digit code input into the keypad. Also, another thing, there's these bars, these blocks above everything. Um, each block is not directly above one of these columns. Like this one is above the one column, but then this one's kind of above the four. This one's kind of in between seven and eight. And then they go off over here where there's no numbers. However, if you count how many columns of blocks there are, it does seem to have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There's space kind of oddly, like there's a space here and space in the middle and a space there between the columns. And there's like a ghost column over here on the extreme right. So I'm not sure whether that's even meant to be interpreted in any meaningful way, but there are 10 columns. And then how would those numbers, the number of blocks be associated with the columns? Hey, I just realized something super cool about Microsoft OneNote. It'll do math for me automatically. So if I do two to the, I don't know, uh, eighth equals space, it filled that number in automatically. After I pressed space, it's like, hey, I'll do the math for you. Now, it's not very intelligent about it. If I go back and change this number, it doesn't update what's on the right. I'd have to delete it, press space again. So <laughs> not the best, but I didn't know that was a feature. It was pretty cool. Another thing I was just thinking is what if all of this is connected to this, because these are on the same computer, right? Being displayed right next to each other. They could be connected. But if so, then 
how there's there's six digits for each date i need to enter six digits into the keypad that means each of these numbers would have to turn into only one other number like i'd have to input one one three one zero six six so if i input one into here and get one number out of it i'd have to do that for each number so let's pretend i'm doing that i enter one into this what does that get me one is a column that's zero zero one Hey, this will be a good excuse to explain bit strings, actually. So let me explain how to interpret this. So we put one into the system, we look down, and we get the bit string 001. Zero, zero, 001. Zero, zero, one. So the way to interpret uh, a bit string and figure out what number, uh, what decimal number it would translate into, think of slots. So that's the first slot, that's the second slot, and this is the third slot. So starting from the right, the rightmost number is the smallest number. This represents the smallest value. This one represents a bigger value. This one represents a bigger value. And remember, these can only be zero or one because we're talking of bits. They're either on or they're off, zero or one. So for the first slot, um, if this is turned on, it equals the value two to the zero power. And I know this is really, really weird. I don't understand it either, but anything to the zero power equals one. It's really weird. I don't know why, but this slot, if it is activated, means that the value in decimal is one. If this slot is activated, the value in decimal is two to the one power which equals just two, it's just itself. And then if this one's activated, it's two to the second power, which is four. So it's the power that rises each time you move over a slot. So if we have one zero zero, like we have over here, that means the only one turned on is the one that equals one. So in decimal, this equals one. If we had zero one one, then we have the value one here turned on, and we also have the value two turned on, which means you just add those together and you get three, right? So one is turned on, two is turned on, both of those added together equals three. If I funneled these numbers into here and read them as a bit string like I just showed you, each of these initial bit strings for one through seven are all three bits which means the biggest number we could have is all three of them being on which would be one plus two plus four which would mean that the biggest number we could get is seven and for eight nine and ten we would have uh, let's just take like eight for an example zero 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 one one with six bits we could get up to the number 64 which wouldn't really work with our system because then we'd get two digits as an output and it wouldn't fit in the keypad. However, looking at these numbers here, the biggest value for these is number 10. Number 10 is 001001. So it'd be this bit string and these numbers above are what each slot represents as a value if it is turned on to one. So even though there's enough digits to make the number 64, the biggest digit here for the these double things these double wide things is an eight and a one which is nine so it's still just to be one digit but am i actually supposed to do this at all i have no idea i could funnel these numbers into here and do that it probably wouldn't work but maybe i could funnel these numbers these blocks count them and put them in but that would give me 10 groups just discovered another new thing there's a note that appears here only in only in this color, is it? What's that picture in the background, by the way? It's very faint. That. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it's a diagram of something. I have no idea what. 
but it's numbered. It's pointing to different parts and it's numbered from 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Just like in that list that we had before, went from 1 to 10, but I don't... I don't understand what this would tell me, though. I don't even know what it's a diagram of, and it's incredibly faint. Is it easier to see in any other one? It's mostly really hard to see. This is really the only one where it shows up. Huh. Anyway, there's a note here that appears in certain colors. Transcript of intercepted relay. Um, actors are COS1, COS2, and is that a 1? U1, MIR? I don't know. COS1, all signs point to stability, requesting permission to enter the AOS. U1, MIR, denied, awaiting reconfirmation. The core pressure module are locked and active. Confirm location. COS2, static. Orbit locked at 15.44 north. Viz, static, 10. Is that an affirmative? Affirmative. Permission to deploy AO bridge base. Granted. Four minutes of silence. Alpha readings are steady. Contact protocol initiated. Standing by. Broadcasting at static. Repeat. Repeat. Contact protocol. Is this meeting aliens? I wonder if this could be important. The 15.44 north. I also found that there were some colors where all these pictures of features on Venus were not all strewn around, but actually on the board and easy to see. So now that they're a lot easier to see, I was able to identify all of them except for B or D. I think D. I couldn't identify it. It looks so close to this one, but I don't think it's the same. Uh, but yeah, for all the other ones. One is the Adams Crater, one is the Sapis Mons Crater, and one is the Mona Lisa Crater. All of which I've already tried, but since I could positively, definitively identify them now, I'm going to go by the coordinates listed on Wikipedia, which are sometimes a little bit different from what I saw on the other site. Before I try any of the numbers, I do want to just look around everywhere first. And I'm thinking... There was at least one color where it said access denied, and I couldn't get through the door. Now that I can change color at will, I could just get through the door in some other color and then switch to, you know, the access denied ones. I think it was green that's access denied. Well, never mind about that. Uh, regardless, I guess I'll go through and then switch. see anything obvious. No, no, no! <laughs> I was trying to switch really fast in there, see if I could make something happen, but no. Uh, I'm not really satisfied. I want to go back there. Whoa. 
What just happened? Okay, hold on. I don't know what I did that did that. Uh, I did two things. One, I went through the portal where the person walks uh, in the, I don't know, not the normal red, but the super messed up red. Uh, I did that, and I also went in looking backwards, because when you go in forwards, and you end up staring straight at the cube. And so I think that's what takes you out of there pretty much instantly. So I went in backwards, and now I'm here. It might have been the going in backwards thing. That feels more likely to me. Someone's sitting and looking around. Our vessel landed on the shores of a dead world on a day of paramount importance. We now had alignment. And from God's green earth, I gazed upon the location of our offering as we pondered our demise. We now had alignment. Offering. Dead world, our own world. I'm not sure, but the picture in the background is the same one that's in the background of the computer. The one with a, a diagram labeled 1 through 10. playing. Oh, I think that's it. I wondered where it was coming from. Is there anything else I can do here? just noticed the clock on the wall. I think the time is important. So the time is 10, 16, and 35 seconds exactly, and it won't move. Guess how many digits that is? 10, 16, 35. That's six digits. just force myself to leave. 10, 16, 35. Oh, I was so sure. Well, that's the last of them. 
Okay, so neither the time nor all of those date codes entered directly actually take you anywhere. The thing I'm currently trying is going through this portal where the person walks with every color. I went in there without any color, uh, going backwards, and that didn't do the special thing. It still made me stare at the cube and then go back. So I think it was the color, not the going backwards that did it. The color that I did before was that extra special red. So I'm trying every color now. I just went in there as blue and it just sent me back like normal. However, when I came back here, this door here was closed until I switched colors and then it was just gone. And this door's already open? Like, this feels like... This feels different. What's going on? Okay, that's normal. But why was the portal just open and the door open, but the other door closed? None of the colors other than the super special red one did anything, so let's go in as the super special red one again. Looks like it is doing the same thing, so it is the color, not going in backwards. Yeah. Let me see if I can find anything else in here. Oh, I think I cracked the case, folks. I misread the clock. It's not 1016, it's 1011. You have no idea how excited I am. Please work, please work. 10, 11, 35. No! Let's try Venera 17 again. So I'm certain that I've already been through Venera 17 as green and, mm, green and blue. Absolutely 100% certain. So let's try the others. Let's try red. Not sure if I've done that before. The only path to success was through failure. There was never a guarantee we'd ever reach our destination. Everything appears black and white until you look closer. I did what I thought was right. Was it worth it? The ends ever justify the means? We'll see. That was new. Do I still have my ability? Oh, good, I do. I did find it interesting how they said everything looks black and white until you look closer. Is that a hint to go into black and white mode? this one, and see if anything is... look for something that's not black and white, perhaps? Well, first, let's try the other colors. I think I've done this in the white color shift, but let's do it again. Yeah, we've done this before. Let's do it one more time with our messed up red vision. Oh, yep, that's different. I actually went into the real thing instead of... Instead of this. Nobody's talking. I just realized I can move. Not that it matters much.
Wow, that is a messed up menu. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. I had a second before it took me out of this area. Is there something I can do there? Some horrible decision we know it must be done. Termination protocol. So what triggered that exactly? Was it going backwards that did it? Was it just going inside again that did it? Because that didn't do it. I feel like things are getting more and more messed up and the music is getting more and more messed up. I'm... I'm getting really creeped out. I'm not sure what to do, though. Keep going back here. Shall I just sprint forwards and see how far I can get? Let me press F in the menu again. Okay, now it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Discovered a couple other things. Um, well, first thing is, there's a letter here that only appears in some colors. I think I found this before, but then I think I got distracted by noticing the computer's new stuff and then forgot to read it. So, let's read it. Captain J.A. Hollis. Uh... Captain Hollis, I apologize for this method of communication. As you know, secrecy is of the utmost importance. I can't thank you enough for agreeing to help. Given your background leading missions at Hypersonics and your extensive research and publications on related subjects, your expertise is exactly what we'll need to push our efforts into action. Enclosed is all the relevant data surrounding the signal in question and my deduction of possible source locations in images A through E, all sourced from past Magellan image radar data, of which you are no doubt familiar. My hope is that by allowing you to compare the topographical data of each location with the experience of the simulated memory data, we can quickly deduce which of the locations may contain the source of the original broadcast. Further, as discussed, if confirmed, we can begin preparations to secure a mission to return to the source's exact location. If contact is even possible, and the signal could be rebroadcast or even extracted from whatever machinations created it, we compare and contrast, possibly in real time, with what we have currently recorded and determine its accuracy and hopefully pinpoint any errors that have been introduced. The only issue I foresee is finding the proper clearance to fold you into Assemblance Labs proper without interference from the very parties I am challenging with these actions. The security measures here are stringent as expected. At the moment, the best idea I have is folding you in as a test subject through our vendor agreement, so you'll appear anonymous for some time. And in that window, I can explore more ways to subvert security parameters. I look forward to your prompt response, Carter Bester. For security reasons, getting them past security, the idea is to fold in Captain J.A. Hollis as a test subject. Is that who we are? I also discovered that amongst the images that flash when you switch colors on the computer screen, 
Um, we see this one, like you saw before, but there's also another one that I missed. We also see this one. I can't make any particular sense of it. It's got some blocks. It's got some colored in blocks here on a 5x5 five five grid. I don't know if that's anything. I don't really know what to do with it. The other thing is this. So, if we look at this list of dates and whatever the other number is, um, let's just look at the numbers. These are supposed to be dates. The first two digits would seem to be the day. 13, 18, 30, 18, 17, 21, 31. That follows what you, the range you'd expect a day date to be in. And then the following two numbers f follow what you'd expect a month to be in. Nothing goes over 12. 10, 6, 1, 5, 4, 6, 10. And then the last two numbers, I'm sure, are the year. So this got me thinking. This, The thing that says it's a date is definitely a date, and I know the format that it's in. It's in the horrible American format of day, month, year. The numbers on the right don't have a heading that says it's a date, and they don't match the format of a date either. The first two numbers can't be a day, because sometimes it's 81, 79. Second two digits can't be a month, 23, 47. So first column is dates, and we know the format. Second column is not, and we have no idea what it is, but it appears to map each date to a set of numbers. So then I got to thinking, how about I look at all the notes I can find and see if I find any dates, and then see if I can find it on this list of dates which I did. That's why this one's highlighted. So this is one of the notes that we can read. In response to the readings that began on the 25th of October at approximately 0217 UT and continued nonstop until communication was severed at approximately 0322 UT on the 25th of October, five research teams have separately attempted to decipher the contents of the pattern emission. So this is the original event that started everything. And it happened on this day, the 25th of October, year is blacked out. However, I don't think we actually need the year because we have enough to match it to what's on here. We have the 25th of October or 2510. 25th day, 10th month, 2510. And I guess apparently the year is 75. I assume 2075, I guess. And that maps it to this number. Now, keep in mind, I have already entered every single number in this list into the keypad, so what I'm supposed to enter is definitely not just this number straight up, or this number as it is. It would have to be transformed in some way. Also, another thing I noticed is that the times that it mentions the communication, the, the source, starting from an ending, approximately 0217 UT until 0322 UT, those, you could lop off the zero, because that's unneeded. And then you have two sets of three digits, which makes six digits, which can go into the keypad, 217322. So, first thing I want to try is entering in those times into the keypad. Second thing I want to try is figure out some way to transform this number. I guess I'll try the stuff that I mentioned with this, I suppose. Right, well I just discovered something that makes the uh, numbers on the computer screen almost irrelevant. They change every time I change colors. Not only do they change, they're not changing between distinct sets. Where it's like, every time you switch to the red you get the same set of numbers in the red shifted world. They appear to be basically randomly generated. There's no way that they are literally completely randomly generated, because I'm seeing dates show up too often for that to be the case. But the numbers associated with the dates on the right do seem to be random. For example, these are all ones that start with the date that I was talking about, 2510. 2510, look at the number associated with it, 2510. It's got a different year in the end, but we don't know the year, so that's fine. Different number, 2510, with the same year as the original. Different number, same year as the original. Different number. Yeah. Yeah, neither the times where the signal started and ended, nor any of the numbers that I have 
that appear to be randomly generated from that one date, none of them work. I literally can't think of what to do now, and this really nasty music that's is just stressing me out. So I'm gonna try the reset key and the reset code and see what that does. Chamber reset, you may now enter. Will we get peace on the other side, please? No, the music's still horrible. I don't know what... What did that reset at all? It takes me back here, but I still have my abilities. The music's still horrible. Hey, wait, what? I just entered to Sarah Valley multiple times, testing out... <clears throat> different colors, and now the butterfly is here along with the birds at the same time? I think it was just a bug. I don't think it meant anything. I quit to the main menu and then started the game up again because that sound was just... Oh. It was hard on the ears, and now everything is nice. Be terminated this time. Nice and quiet. The numbers in the spreadsheet. Again. And I discovered something. Right before I went back to the main menu, I discovered... I discovered a strange small thing that could be a bug, who knows? We should unpack that statement. This... Oh, actually... No, it just happened again. Um... Normally, there's a bird there, like right where I'm pointing, on that little hill. It wasn't really there before I went back to the main menu. Then when I went back to the main menu, came back, it was there. And now that I like scared it away and come back, now it's not there. It has nothing to do with the color. You can switch colors and it still won't be there. That bird specifically doesn't come back, but the others do. I mean, it could be a bug, but it's pretty suspicious, isn't it? The memory chamber inside the chamber. What the I noticed that it allowed me, uh, not having the bird there allowed me to go off to the side like this and get fairly close before the birds noticed me. But they still do. But I've always felt like I, there's something I should be able to do with the birds, but I don't know what it is. However, that's not the only thing I discovered. So listen to the noise that happens when I switch really colors. Think you're smarter than everyone else. I agree with your question. It's just kind of like glitchy noises, no particular pattern or anything like that. But check out what happens when I open up to Sarah Valley. Stare into it, but don't go through. Oh, hey, the bird's back again. Weird. If I only had a team that could deliver on my vision. So staring into it's this. Possible you have now listen to what happens when I change colors. Good point. But maybe not. Oversimplified the wave function. There's musical pings happening in addition to those glitchy sounds. There's three different tones. There's like a low, medium, and high tone. The low tone happens with most colors. And then the blue and green one make the other tones. I forgot which is which. But listen. Okay, blue makes, like, a high pitch. My business is people. Listen for green. I can't believe this is what passes for acceptance. There it is. Green actually makes a high pitch. So green is high, blue is medium, and then everything else is low. I heard similar sort of sounds 
when I was inside of Tessera Valley. Maybe I need to listen to it and go through the portal with like the right combination of like make one sound and then go back through it again with a different sound, like repeating a musical cue kind of thing. This is very exciting. First though, I want to see if this happens with other places. Can we simulate no. Okay, that's extra exciting. If it doesn't happen in general, then it probably is something special. Same. Also something else I've noticed. Uh, hmm, hold on, it's not happening now. I can't believe this is what passes for acceptable. This cannot continue. Yeah, every time I go into green, it starts like this sort of calming soundtrack, not just that high pitch pling, but listen to the music that comes. Like here. Or some music. Do you really think but you hear that? Everyone else? Can you rephrase your question in the form of an answer? It doesn't happen with the others. It's a combination that I need to make in this song. It sounds similar. The pings. I couldn't really find any really strong identifiable way to translate what I was hearing into the three tones that I'm capable of making. Like the sounds are there, but sometimes it sounds like there's more than just the three tones and it's hard to tell where it might stop and start and I'm just not sure whether that's a thing, but the sound thing is definitely a thing. I'm going to try entering in on um, some low pitch and then the medium pitch and then the high pitch. So anything and then blue and then green. I could deliver on my vision. There's only so much more of this I can take. This cannot continue. Then blue. I could short circuit the chamber again, but that may result in permanent psychosis. There are valid reasons to keep this from the rest of them. green. Is that what makes the butterfly appear at the same time as the birds? We had that once before. It doesn't seem to do anything, though. Yeah, if you wait a second after switching, it makes the sound again like it's locking it in place. Switch. Okay, I think I've reached the point where I feel confident in saying I don't think I'm going to find the other ending. Who should be terminated? I say the other ending because it seems like each ending gives you a new achievement. And I've looked and I have seven out of eight achievements. So pretty sure I'm just missing one ending. I don't think I'm going to find it. I think if I continue looking for it past this point, I would get frustrated. So I'm very happy with what I've managed to accomplish so far, but for this final ending, I'm going to use a walkthrough. So the final ending is called white because we've done like the, we've done green, we've done blue and various others. White is the last one. Let's just go step by step down the guide. I haven't read the whole thing in advance. Let's just see what it's like, what we have to do. Select assemblance office B. You may or may not have a good point. Walk into the room that you unlocked with a walkie-talkie earlier in the back corner. Look at the map on the wall. Find the post-it note with three question marks written on it at the top left. This one? Uh... 
That's not top left, though. That's middle left. Do these move between the different colors by any chance? Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I just saw it in a different spot. Or maybe it was just a glitch as it was... As the screen was changing. Shit, maybe it was. I think it was. <laughs> okay, well. Let's go with this. Um, find the post note with this. Uh-huh. Remember exactly where it is pointing. The small island. Right, I even remember noticing this is the only one that points at a landmass. The small island. I actually pointed that out. All the others point at water. Oh, I was so close. Sort of. Uh, find the picture in the middle of the very bottom and take note of the letter at the top right of it. Picture in the middle of the very bottom. This? Take note of the letter at the top right of it. C. Okay, so the tiny island up there and C. Keep shifting until it is the A picture. And then it says don't change your shift from now on until it says so. Okay. Look to your left to see a computer that is on and walk over to it. Uh huh. Zoom in on the screen and find the number 251075. 251075. Wait a minute. 251075. That's the freaking one that I have pasted all over my document. That's the one that's... I was right about that being a significant date. But what do we do with it? Write down the number that is to the right of it. It's randomized. Okay. 459373. 459373. Okay, I've got that written down. Um, this is end the memory. Go to the installation. So maybe I would have actually, I think we have to enter that code that's randomized. So maybe when I entered all the codes, the issue is that I color shifted since then. And so it changed the randomized code associated with that date. You just have to not color shift and then it will stay with whatever it was before. I think that's the issue. Shit. The keypad isn't here. Is that going to be an issue? Use the keypad to enter your code. Uh, oh, it says interact with the console until the numpad's made available. Okay. Yeah. System overload detected. Reset. Blah, blah, blah. Did it just glitch out? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, walk, uh, use the keypad to enter your code. Let's do that first. 459. 373. <laughs> Frequency index unknown. Warning, do not. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. That is so cool. That is so cool. It says, walk to the light door. Do not enter yet. The next part is timed. God, it just, I just want to stop for a second. Think of how close I was to this. I recognized that the date matched what was on the paper and that it was significant. I noticed that the number kept changing. I noticed the island that it points to. I don't know how that's relevant, but I'm sure it'll become apparent later. Yeah, wow, I noticed so many of those parts, but putting it together is really difficult. This is a super hard ending. Okay, it says, walk through the light door and immediately begin shifting until you reach the dark green shift. The next part is timed, so I'm guessing everything I do after this is timed, not just the shifting. So go to dark green after I'm through. Zoom in on the spot that I told you to remember, the little island. Your screen will flash and a photo will appear in front of you. Okay. 
Wait, but why did I have to remember that it's picture C? Or A, or whatever. Yeah, picture C. Why? Oh, I think that was... I think that was just an anchor to make sure that we're in the right memory, the right color shift. So I don't think I actually do have to remember that part. Okay, so again, dark green after I go through, zoom in on the island and walk towards it. Screen will flash and a photo will appear in front of you. Ah. God, that is so creepy. Who is this, by the way? Wasn't there a picture? There were, I remember in the original Assemblance over... Uh, the original Assemblance game, there was an ending that I also had to look at a walkthrough for because it was super difficult and it involved looking at a painting that looks sort of like this, maybe? I don't remember. Um, I'm supposed to just end the memory and go back and go to Venera 17, but I want to see what's, like, if anything else has changed. Like, this wasn't here before. So let's take a look around. Your preferred memories have been loaded into the chamber. Have you explored them for accuracy? I have. Good. Any last requests before we prepare for commencement? Yeah. What do you think we're going to find up there? Honestly, I don't know. As long as those last additions we made to the guidance systems are locked and loaded, I, I guess I'm all yours. Confirmation of Jerome Anthony Hollis is complete. Designation number 1185 ready for deployment. Jerome Anthony Hollis. Are these different? Uh, no, that's not different. That's not different. This is different. Now that we've identified the origin, we need to line up images A through E to determine the source. Once this is accomplished, we'll know the memory code. Line up images A through E? I don't think that's actually something I have to do, though. Starts in the middle of a sentence. Of what previously has been thought of in prior times as metaphysical or religious in nature, but in light of our recent discovery and reigning theories, each now requires more scientific analysis. What follows is a brief summation of these more esoteric destinations, which I attest are now areas of extreme interest and are explored more thoroughly in their subsequent sections. The Coromaradera. And then there's its latitude longitude, which I suppose I could enter as a memory code, perhaps? According to most paleo... paleo -palin, palin, palinology? What? I'm not sure what that... I'm not sure if I'm reading that right or what it means. According to that data, the structure was constructed sometime in the late 700s AD in houses a triptych of significant artifacts that its keepers have yet to d disclose despite some very lucrative offers. We've been granted access to items the keepers of the temple call replicas, which I highly doubt offer a one-to-one -one depiction, but are very much worthy of analysis. Each of the replica statues offers, uh, offer the form of the following deities, whom when studied more closely, specifically how their origins may have been created or received by the inhabitants of the time, have very interesting correlations. Uh, Bishamantan, also known as Protector of the North, Punisher of Evildoers, Listener of Many Teachings, one of the four heavenly kings most associated with wealth, arguably spiritual as opposed to financial. Conan, also known as the one with a thousand arms and a thousand eyes, sworn never to rest until it frees all sentient beings from the cycle of rebirth. Sonten, also known as the Defender Lord, thought to reside 
in the center of our planet, which we've correlated to the dynamo theories of Gilbert, Larmor, Blackett, and most recently, Elliser. Section 3.2. Giant rock in the integration... Integ... Integratron? It has been well argued that intermittent magnetic fields help organ functionality, most notable through plasma and coronal discharge. The all wood construction uh, portends to offer portends portends to offer unaffected absorption given the unique electromagnetic spikes in the area and effectively turning the body into a finely tuned receiver without any ferromagnetic interference. The correlation between this idea and the source is fully examined through a lens that, even I have to believe, is now far more possible that the scientific community has cared... I think I'm supposed to say then the scientific community has cared to believe. Is there anything else in here that I want to see before I go? This is the part that weirds me out the most. This sounds like it's telling me I need to do something else, but according to the guide, I just need to go back and go to Venera 17. But anyway, I think I've already visited the source when I entered in the code that I got from Magellan. Anything out here changed? That's not new. That's not new. My business is people. I can't believe this is what passes for acceptable. We should unpack that statement. There's only so much more of this I can take. strange emptiness. Nothing, no voice. Nothing. I'm not quite following you. This that was a whole a success. That was a whole new I color, wasn't it? An apology. It was like some sort of orangish color. Actually, is that what this is? Do I now have access to a new color? It seems like it. Well, I gotta go around and see if anything's different in all the other worlds, then. So I do have all the achievements, but I can't help but feel there must be more. Yeah, they just take me away. I looked at a couple walkthroughs, and it looked like this is all that's listed as the possible endings, but I don't... It actually isn't. I found a video detailing something they call the true ending. And I think the thing might be that there's no... I guess there's no um, achievement associated with it, so it doesn't often make it into guides or whatever. It seems like guides are more about achievement hunting than they are about actually finding all the story stuff. Which is really weird to me, because I don't really care much about achievements, but... Anyway, it's a long video, they do a bunch of stuff. I think most of it's unnecessary. I think all they did is they went into this. Um, I think they went into this in the orange or uh, the white shift, this shift, I think. But I think they had to do something first. So let me just test it again because I think that just takes you here. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So we're red shifted and if we wait long enough, this, that will appear. That goes too slow. So I think we need to go through that as if we're trying to um, start the loop, the overload thing. 
And then... Then we have to go into orange and go through here, I think. Uh, why didn't that work? Hold on. Uh... Well, I can't figure out how to do the ending based on the video that I saw, and when I search for how to do all endings, I find all of the achievement-related endings, and none of them seem to actually show this true ending. I can only find this one video, which isn't even really a tutorial on getting the true ending, so... I don't know how to get it. I can't find a guide that shows how to get it. The video, I'm trying to replicate it, and it's not working. So I think I'm just gonna end the series here completely. Um, if you want to see that ending, I'll put it in the description at the very top, so you can go watch that. Uh, I haven't even watched the full thing myself, so I'm not quite sure what it is. But I've been recording for almost four hours. I feel like I'm dying. I think I need to go eat, so I'll just say some quick thoughts about Assemblance Oversight. I freaking love it. It is amazing. It is bizarre. It has an incredible aesthetic. I absolutely adore the sense of mystery and how much you have to figure things out on your own. The fact that I had to go on an ARG out onto the internet to find what I did. And if keep in mind, if you didn't do that, you wouldn't gain the ability to switch colors at will. And you'd pretty much miss like half the game, I feel like. Like, they're not afraid to put stuff, a lot of content behind fairly difficult and abnormal puzzles. It's really cool. I love that. It's such a fascinating little world. I really ho hope they make more semblance games or games in the same vein. That has been Assemblance Oversight. Thanks for watching.